data is a big word. It really just means trying to get information. It could be from clinical trial, it could be from registries, it could be from just medical records that we generate every day in treating patients in cancer centers. Putting them all together, the clinical data, the molecular data, the pathology data, the big data, to help us understand much more in terms of what the patterns of disease is, what kind of treatments help, what kind of treatments do not help, what kind of toxicities happen when you give these treatments. It's really collective learning. Cancer genome data is the type of data or information we got when we sequence patients' cancers. What we're able to do is to take out the nucleic acids, so the DNA or RNA of these cancer cells, analyze it using the technology called next generation sequencing, and understand the molecular or genetic footprint of these cancer cells, and then understand really what the molecular changes or mutations that really make the cancers the way they are, make the cancers grow, spread, kill, and it helps us to understand what kind of targets are available as oncologists to use to fight these cancers. Cancer is like a camouflage. For us to actually be able to beat it, we have to sort of predict where it's going to go next and beat it before it can get there. That, I think, is the next generation challenge. And I think having the big data will help us at least understand what comes after next and help us in some way help to preempt the evolution of cancers as they become more and more you know, uh, widespread and grow. I'm a little oncologist contributing big data to the big world. And I think to see advances made through collective learning is going to be very important. It's, it's you know, something that has to happen. We cannot sort of wait till the next generation for it to happen. The next generation is now. Uh, my name is Dr. Lillian Sue. I'm a medical oncologist in Princess Margaret Cancer Center. <laughs>